I'm Nick Kingsley, the executive editor of the Railway Gazette Group. I'm here with Claudio from Nokia, who's going to explain a little bit more about FRMCS, one of the digital rail game changers of the future. Claudio, just, just tell us briefly a little bit about FRMCS and why it is so important for the global rail sector. Okay, FRMCS, uh, uh, it is becoming a worldwide standard, successor of GSMR, but not only. We are relying on a uh, broadband network uh, with high capacity of data transport. So deal with, this will be an, the enabler for railway digitalization. It will not carry out only GSMR features like voice or like small data packet transfer, but uh, as it is relying on a broadband network, it will carry out a lot of use cases that can keep to the next level railways, like smart station, or video uh, and so on and so forth. So that's why it's really important for them to have a network as soon as the technology is available. And, and you mentioned that the existing telecoms backbone for the rail sector is mainly GSMR, but that's approaching obsolescence. So what's your thoughts on the timescale for the adoption and rollout of FRMCS? Yeah, we are in a phase that the standardization is going to be frozen. We foresee uh, according to the latest news, that this will, uh, will happen in 2025. Then what will happen is that the uh, front runners like uh, SBB or Deutsche Bahn, that they are already involved in POC and trials with 5G, uh, they will start deploying an FRMCS network. All the other operators most probably we see at the window for a couple of years, three years, so we expect let's say the F day, so the D day for FRNCS in 2029, 2030. And then the rollout, mass rollout will, will start. And tell me a little bit about the specific technology, products and services that Nokia is offering to support the rail industry's transition to FRMCS. Right, okay, you know, we are making a triple jump from 2G to, 3, to 5G. So it will be not a smooth, very real smooth transition, but rail operator, can do something with the Nokia support to have a real transition that goes smoothly. For instance, they need to have first a reliable transport network IP based that is able to support all the use cases that FRMCS makes available. Make an example, you, you could argue that uh, 10 MHz in 1900, which is the decided spectrum, can carry out by SDH, for instance, but you can complement this due to the underlying technology with millimeter waves in static situation that needs 100 megabit, for instance, to, to make a data shower from the train to the depot. So you need a reliable uh, underlying transport network, and railway operators should start now to do this, and they even take advantage from this in the, in the existing technology. Second would be a, a gateway between new and old. So many operators need to interconnect the 2G, 2G network with the new 5G that uh, public operators have. So they need a gateway like IMS. This is another thing that makes the transition smoother during, the, during this period. And just give us maybe one key message for rail operators and infrastructure managers around Europe and indeed in the wider global sector. What's your one key message to manage successfully the migration to FRMCS? Okay, we as Nokia uh, have a lot of experience. Uh, we are deeply involved in the standard and so we know what's going on. We know the strengths and the, maybe the threats of this uh, process. So you can rely on us for the future, but also for the transition, because we have a long-lasting experience. We were born uh, with the GSMR, uh, so we have long-lasting uh, experience in managed services, uh, more than 30 years, especially for GSMR. So we can help you to have uh, this transition together with us. We can manage your GSMR network and you can be focused on FRNCS, the other way around on an hybrid approach. So trust us. <laughs> Thank you, Claudio.